So with all my recent videos and my experimentation that I've been doing recently, I've realized that when you dehydrate mushrooms, they have a more meaty-like structure, more muscle fibrous-like uh, texture uh, when they're dehydrated than rehydrated and cooked. Now I thought about a bunch of different veggies and where this technique might come into play besides just using mushrooms. And I thought about one that gets used a lot in the plant-based world, and that is young green jackfruit. Now my thought about jackfruit is that it's already fairly fibrous. It already has a really nice kind of meaty structure. I've used it to make quite a few plant-based chickens that come out really good. That is honestly probably one of my favorite recipes is the Nashville hot jackfruit that I did. I'll leave a link for that in the description below and then the card flying around here that you could watch when you get bored. But I just wanted to take this a step further. So I wanted to see exactly what would happen if we dehydrated jackfruit and rehydrated it in fat and flavoring uh, uh, to mimic some better meat replacements. So I'm gonna do two different ones. We're gonna do a nugget style where we flavor it up and see if it tastes like a chicken nugget. And we're gonna do the pooled meat style. We're gonna flavor it like pork, give it a little bit of sweet and smoky flavoring and see if we can make it taste like a better pulled pork. We can get that texture to be a little bit more dense and chewy like a real meat might be. So let's get moving on this one. There's gonna be just a little bit of prep and mostly sitting time while this is dehydrating in the dehydrator. Let's get rolling. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do before we get dehydrating is we're gonna be draining and rinsing off our jackfruit. For the one can, we're just going to drain, rinse it. We're gonna just pick off any seeds that are kind of on the top. Uh, and then we're just gonna throw this right into the dehydrator. Uh, for our second can, I wanna break this up more like your pooled meat would be or how you would do other like say chicken recipes. Uh, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be breaking this up and removing as many seeds as possible. So just under the running water, just kind of squeeze the jackfruit. Just all the seeds will pop out and you could just discard those seeds. Our jackfruit's rinsed off, drained, broken apart, de-seeded. I really, I've always loved the look of these. Like the nuggets, that when you keep them whole like this, you bread them up, they taste just like a good chick a nugget. Uh, I have a video over on Live Kindly um, where I just made these for the Super Bowl and they came out super good. But then even like the broken jackfruit, like the pool jackfruit, it just has such a meaty texture. It's just, it's really mind blowing. It's the plant kingdom's meat. Uh, so what we're gonna do at this point before I dehydrate them is I'm just gonna do some kosher salt. I have about a pinch of kosher salt that I'm gonna do over the whole thing. So let's get these hydrating. I'm gonna throw them on the hydrator. I'll put this guy right on top here. Now for the hydrator, I don't have a planned time yet. I'm just gonna keep checking on them every few hours. I'm gonna set them at about 135 degrees. So I'm gonna set it for about 12 hours. I'm assuming it's gonna probably take that long. These are fairly juicy uh, and I wanna get them pretty dry. I want them to be completely dehydrated. So let's get moving on that. Uh, we'll come back in about 12 hours and see what they look like. Hey gang, real quick, I've been trying to kickstart 2021 with health and wellness in mind. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Boxed and Barilla Red Lentil Pasta. Barilla's Red Lentil Pasta is made with one simple ingredient, red lentils. It has a delicious taste and always the perfect al dente texture. And it offers a really good source of protein and an excellent source of fiber. Barilla's Red Lentil Pasta is gluten-free, non-GMO project verified, and it meets all of the standards that people come to expect from Italy's number one brand of pasta. And that leads me to Boxed, which is the best place to get your Barilla Lagoon Pasta in bulk. There's no memberships required, so literally the bulk products that you need is just a click away. I've been loving getting all of my Barilla products from Boxed. It's been amazing. The Barilla Red Lentil Pasta cooks to perfection al dente in seven to nine minutes. So for me, I just like to add a little bit of olive oil, red pepper flakes, a little bit of crushed black pepper, some fresh basil, and then OMG, look at this. Look at this pasta. Just perfect every single time. Mm. So gang, make sure you head over to boxed.com slash saucedash and enter code saucedash and you'll get a $1 off coupon for your Barilla Red Lentil Pasta. You're going to love this. It's so good. Okay, these look great. I love these little nuggets. These dehydrated perfectly. Now at this point, I just wanna get these rehydrated. Now we're just going to be rehydrating them with their prospective flavored broths. Uh, so for the pooled jackfruit, uh, this stuff right here, uh, we're going to be flavoring them like pork. And for the nuggets, 
we're gonna be flavoring these like chicken. Uh, and we're gonna be doing that using, you know, my favorite broths, the Shengi uh, flavor broth mix. Uh, I found these at my local Asian market. I love these. They have chicken, beef, pork. They're really great. They have a really great taste. Uh, but you should be able to find plant-based broth mix at your local market, uh, Asian market or grocery store. So all we're gonna do is just fill some saucepans up with some water, uh, add the broth mix according to the directions, and then we're just gonna add the jackfruit and simmer them on a slow simmer covered for like 20 minutes. That should be enough to hydrate these up. Okay, so at this point, this is looking really good. I mean, just look at this. It's looking so incredibly meaty. Now the nuggets might look a little bit off, but I'm telling you, I have a really good feeling that they're gonna be chewier and have a denser, richer chicken flavor. Same thing with this one here. I have a really good feeling that this is gonna come out incredibly meaty, porky. I think this is gonna be a really good pork replacement. A little bit uh, easier, maybe a little bit more time consuming, but easier than like your traditional jackfruit pulled pork that's gonna be loaded with a lot more flavor. So the next step, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna strain out both of these just gonna press them, let them sit for a few minutes to kind of dry up, pull in any of the moisture. We don't want we don't want them overhydrated. Now at this point we have our pooled pork. Look at that, it is amazing. And we also have our chicken nugget chunks. These should be awesome. Just awesome. Now the whole point of this video was just demonstrating to see if dehydrating the jackfruit first would make it meatier and allow you to flavor it better. I think we've proved that. So let's just put together the sandwich. I'm just gonna use a pretty generic list of barbecue seasonings uh, to make this more barbecue pork before Monica tastes it. You can use your favorite barbecue recipe if you don't have one. Uh, really, all I'm gonna be using is an even amount, probably about a half of a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon black pepper, half teaspoon chili powder, uh, one teaspoon cumin. I'm gonna throw about a tablespoon of olive oil into the skillet, saute this up for just a moment, and then we're just gonna top it with some of our favorite barbecue sauce, and then just throw this on some vegan buttered toast, and we have ourselves a plant-based jackfruit sandwich. Let's go ahead and move over to the jackfruit nuggets. Now for the jackfruit nuggets, we're just gonna be doing a really simple batter recipe. All I'm gonna be doing is doing a wet batter using a simple egg replacer with some water. We're gonna dip that into the egg replacer and then into a flour mixture of just about uh, a cup of flour with a pinch of salt and pepper and maybe some cayenne pepper to make it a little spicy. And then from the flour back into the wet batter. And then from the wet batter, we're gonna throw this into some hot oil in our skillet, fry these up until they're golden brown. And now we have ourselves some legit jackfruit chicken nuggets. Better than any jackfruit chicken nugget you've had before. Okay, so first up, I got Monica helping me test out the pulled pork. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Very porky and meaty. It really tastes like... I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. This is really good. Does the taste or texture resemble what you normally get from jackfruit, or is it better? It's better. It's meatier. A lot meatier, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can taste like the pulled pork strings, I guess. I don't know yeah. if that's the right... Yeah. Yeah. The texture itself is denser. What normally happens with jackfruit is it's... It has kind of like... It has the look, but the chew of it is slightly lacking. And most of the time the taste is great, but it doesn't have that like pork taste. Where this really tastes like it was mm -hmm. pulled off a smoker and pooled. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, this is really good. good. Yeah, we're like eating the whole thing. And now we have our nuggets. I mean, these came out perfect. I think, I think they're gonna be pretty nuggety. Now you love jackfruit nuggets. Mm -hmm. They're like my favorite. Every time I make jackfruit nuggets, it's Monica's favorite thing. Tell me if you feel like these are more chickeny tasting and texture. Mm. Mm, even better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. Really wild. I can mm. eat these all day. Very close, for 100%. So definitely dehydrating jackfruit in nugget form and pooled form makes a better yeah. meat substitute. I really thought it would. I really had the feeling that it really would. Uh, and it definitely nails it. So, mm -hmm. so this is really cool because even though like canned jackfruit is, um, is shelf stable and you can keep it on your shelf for a long time, uh, 
dehydrating it. You'll be able to keep this for a while and use it in multiple different things. It's gonna be a quicker jump to getting um, your meaty jackfruit replacements. That's awesome, thanks yeah, baby. Yeah, this is so good. Thank you. Mm.